Hey everybody, this is Robin from Roaming with Rover. Thanks for popping in today. Look what I got in the mail. It's the Crochet World magazine, which I have a subscription to, which I really, really like. Oh, there's the puppies talking. The funny thing is, I just got this, and this is the June issue. The June issue. Well, what happened was, as you guys know, we recently moved, and this got lost in the shuffle. So I contacted them and said, hey, I never got this one. This is no problem. We will send it right out to you. And they did. So I just got this. So I thought maybe we'd take a look at it together. I'm loving this on the cover. Don't even know what's going on with that yet. But let's see what's in here. They always have, ooh, there's an ad for some Superwash Merino, but isn't that pretty? I like that they do a good job on their... Um, index with all the different types of thing there and the other thing that i really like is on the very back page you have an overview of everything that's in the book with the page number so you can pop right to it because i can't ever remember when anything is and i used to go through these magazines put little sticky notes on everything i wanted to do well then the sticky notes would fall off and you know how that is so let's see what they've got for us okay We've got a goldfish bath towel set. And what we have done here is they're just taking a plain white, see there's the washcloth. We're just taking a plain white towel or washcloth and basically crocheting little appliques and then attaching them. This is cute and it would, it would be a fast project too. That would be a nice way to do something uh, for a little that would go pretty quickly. And you use two, uh, some two-weight yarn for the bubbles and four-weight yarn for the little gold fishies. That's cute. And it would be very easy to do. You can also contact them, call them, if you have problems with, um, if you have problems with a stitch or problems with the patterns, they've got help available. I love this. It's a little catty. I mean, we're all we all throw uh, take an old coffee cup or something and throw our stuff in there. But this is an actual official cup caddy for all our little things. And I like the pockets on the outside, so I can put my scissors in there. I can put the hook that I'm using or a pen. And you've got the little button side, so you can decorate. Have this decorated for your, you know, the design that you like, the colors you like. Take an old coffee cup that you don't like. You know, maybe one of those freebies that advertises something that you're not interested in and make a beautiful, uh, beautiful, useful item. Man, I like this a lot. Takes They use a three weight. Oh, they're using mercerized cotton. I don't know why you couldn't use your kitchen cotton on that or just any kind of acrylic. I like that. And it doesn't take very much at all. Wow. That's a cool thing. That is cool. Cute, cute, cute. Seafarer dog. Oh, I like that too. I'm not much for amigurumi. And I would still call this amigurumi. Uh, they're using cotton weight. They're using co sport weight cotton. Cotton acrylic blend. Doesn't take much of this either. I think you could use any kind of acrylic yarn for that. Yeah, as long as you're using the same yarn. You may not get the exact same size little critter, but that doesn't matter. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it's a coaster and a bookmark. Oh, nice. So you've got two different size coasters and a bookmark. That's pretty. That's very pretty. And they're considering this an intermediate. The small coaster is three and a half inches. The large, large coaster is five inches. And the bookmark is six and a half inches long before the tassel. So that's about six and a half inches long. And then if you put a tassel on it, the tassel, I'm not, I don't usually think of doing tassels, but the tassel really makes that, really makes it look like a fan, doesn't it? So, so pretty. And they are using a DK weight, mercerized Pima cotton. That might be a little fancy for me for a book mark and a coaster, but um, I think I would think any kind of any kind of your cottons, your your linen cotton, any kind of your 
Mm, Trubu, Kobu, anything like that would be really nice. And it doesn't take much. One, one hank, they're saying 125 yards. A 50 gram hank is all you need for this. So that's not very much. And that's real pretty. Well, here they are a little closer so you can see the design of it. That's the bigger coaster. That's the smaller coaster. Is that just the center of that? Yes. So this is a couple of rounds and then some Pico edging or keep going and make that with a scalloped edging. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's turn the page. Oh, wow. Big project. Big project. A bedspread. Wowza. Remember back in the day, grandmas all had one of these? Yeah. A cozy garden coverlet. This is for, oh, you can do twin, full, king, and queen. This is a big project. This is also in a three weight. Wow. Mercerized cotton yarn. And it takes, for the, for the twin size, it takes 20 skeins of the mercerized cotton, 100 gram skein. This is pretty, and I can see mercerized cotton for this, for sure. Very pretty. This is going to take some time. And I'm wondering if we are going to... I'm trying to decide if it's squares that you then can connect together. Yeah, yeah. For the, for the twin size, you're making 48 of these squares and then connecting them together. Too beautiful, but I'm not doing that. You know I'm not hooking a bunch of squares together. Look at this. Is that mosaic crochet that we just learned how to do? It is. The Daydream Blanket. And it's de designed by Bethany Moore of Mosaic Hooker. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I'm going to check her out. I like this considered an intermediate and they're using fisherman's wool lion brand fisherman's wool it's a four weight altogether this takes about 10 skeins two different colors um yeah love it love it love it that is so pretty i like this little feature right here with that stripe in the center makes it look like you're doing it in in panels but you're not wow um Bethany Moore of Mosaic Hooker. I'm going to have to check her out. Okay, what do we got here? Cushy Cable Throw. It's an intermediate. Bernat Blanket. Super bulky. Super chunky. Takes six balls. How beautiful is that? Oh, I can, you, can just, you can just see how soft that is. Man, this looks very um, intricate, but I have done, I have done crocheted cables before. It's really not that hard. Surprisingly, it's not that hard and it really adds a lot. Now this one, let me look. Yeah, this one has your stitches, but it also has... It also has, what do they call this? What do they call this? I can never remember what they call it. That. Whoops. It has that stuff. Yeah. See, there's your cables. There's your crocheted cables. It's really simple. Do you guys know how to do this? How to, how to read? Is this, a, is this a chart? Is this considered a chart? I never know what to call it. But I want to know how to make it. I want to know how to read one of these. Can you guys do that? I think it would make understanding some patterns ever so much easier. Because, you know, sometimes I can't tell exactly where they want me to put something or exactly what stitch it is. And on this, you can tell exactly. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and here's the chart for that mosaic. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Just learn mosaic, so I'm excited. Oh, it also says, for this mosaic, it says she's got videos on her YouTube channel, Bonnie Bay Crochets. If I can remember, I will find that link and put it down below. Bonnie Bay Crochets. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else do we have? Oh, there's our doily. It seems like every month they put a doily in here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Par pineapple parfait doily. 11 inches, and it's a size 10 crochet cotton. You can get that pretty much anywhere anymore. Yep, that's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, and here's another doily. That's pretty. Summer sunset doily. This one's about 10 inches when it's done. Again, the number 10 crochet cotton. This looks like a mixed cotton. So what are they? Oh yeah, they've got you doing one ball each of golden, yellow, there's the yellow, sunset coral, country purple, seashells, and turquoise. I wonder if this is the seashells. And then that's the turquoise. Really, really pretty. And honestly, doesn't look that hard. When you look at the individual stitches, again, one stitch at a time. Don't let the project as a whole scare you. It's one stitch at a time. A lot of people say they don't like to crochet or knit in the summer because it's too heavy and it's too hot, but you've got these light, light, airy things. It's, no, it's gonna be no big deal to work on. This is another intermediate pattern. It's called the Jade Doily. Wow, look at, ooh, these are interesting stitches. I wonder what that is. Twisting and turning around. Almost looks like a butterfly if you look at it just right. That's, um, they're calling this a three double crochet cluster. Pretty darn simple. And this is a size zero lace weight mercerized cotton yarn. They've got theirs from Sheepsies, but I bet you could use just about anything. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like doilies. I like doilies. And we've got some ads. Okay, this is something they're doing. I am not doing it, but in the magazine they're doing this. They're doing sort of a block of the month thing, and then when you're done, they're going to put it together to make this pretty blanket. You know I don't do blocks. That's a pretty block. I wonder how big these blocks are. They are... They're using a size 10 crochet cotton. It doesn't say right here. Oh, four inches square. Each block is four inches square. If you're using mercerized cotton, you could make these and use them as uh, coasters. That would be beautiful to have several different coasters in the different blocks. I like that idea. So, so pretty. Yeah. So almost like little mini, little mini doilies. Whoops, the page came apart. Page came apart. And then this is another one. So we got, apparently we got two squares a month. That's beautiful. Man, I like that. Like, like, like that. Very pretty. And then they are doing a little review from behind the scenes. Oh, here we go, mug rugs. Mug rugs are a thing these days. Little simple mug rugs. Great way to use up just a handful of extra yarn you've got, especially one this simple. This is called the Sand and Waves Mug Rug. And they're using sh Lily Sugar and Cream, just a little bit, just a little bit of each color. So if you've got uh, dabs left over from other, other projects, mix and match them all together. So, you know, mug rug is a fancy word for a coaster. They're a little bit bigger than a coaster usually. Um, does it say, this is five by seven when you're done. So, you know, lay down a couple of cookies or whatever on that and go. Oh, I like this. That's a rug. It's called the sand dollar rug, sand dollar rug. And there's the chart that you follow, so not very complicated at all. Sand dollar rug, and they're using Lily Sugar and Cream. I don't know if I would. It, oh, doesn't take that much. Wow, they're saying three balls. One, there's three colors here. We gotta have more than three balls. What am I missing? 
two balls each. Okay, here we go. Two balls each of blue and the white. They're calling it indigo and a crew. And then one ball of this one, which they're calling jute. So that's five balls. But you know, sugar and cream is two, two fifty. You can get it on sale for less than that a lot of times. So that is not, that is really, I mean, we're talking less than $15 for that beautiful rug. However, I think this would, uh, because it's cotton, kitchen cotton, it's going to be nice on the floor. This would be wonderful in your bathroom where you've got, you know, drips of water all the time. And that's where I would put it. I would put this in my bathroom. My bathroom is done in a beachy kind of theme. <laughs> when, when we moved in, we had to quick buy a shower curtain. And so I ran down to the Target and there was... First of all, I couldn't believe how much a shower curtain was. They were like 50, 60 bucks. I'm like, I need a $10 shower curtain. I found some on sale that have mermaids, dancing mermaids. So I've got dancing mermaids all over my shower curtain and my bathroom. Poor mister, what he has to put up with around here. So this is 20 by 25. So it's not a huge rug. So this would be perfect in front of the bathroom sink. See, at first I was thinking I didn't want to do it in that sugar and cream, but I've talked myself into it because this is going to be perfect in the bathroom. And my concern was with it being 100% cotton, and you know the sugar and cream can be kind of a heavy yarn to when your product is done. And if it gets wet, it's going to take some time to dry. But I think in the bathroom, this would be perfect. Now, if I was going to put this in a different room, I would probably use a good acrylic that... I can just throw in the washing machine and it can get tromped on. Um, acrylic would be slickery. So you'd have to put some of those little thingies on the back to keep it from sliding around. But other than that, I like this. I'm talking myself into that more and more. What do you guys think? I want your opinions. Look at that. It's a pillow. It's a sea turtle pillow. It says it's an intermediate that is pretty i have somebody in the family who loves turtles sea turtle pillow intermediate it's 12 inches by 70 so 12 wide at his little shell 17 from there to there that's a nice size that is a nice size there's lots of instructions but you can see every row is a little bit different so they're just giving you instructions per row plus making the little head and the little flippers oh my god they're so cute they're using premier anti-peeling everyday worsted so i think any four weight acrylic would work fine in that two three two balls of fawn one ball each peacock porcelain blue aaron and white so four five six balls that's not terrible that is not terrible for that very very pretty okay another way to use up a little bits of yarn this is the evening sea can cozy so if you like those can cozies that's basically oh it looks like a fish doesn't it so you just stick your can down inside there i like can cozies um i don't think that they do anything to keep your drink warm or cold but you don't you know sometimes when you first have that can it's so cold it's hard to even hold and then it gets kind of wet and so you get the moisture all over so it's great it's great for that and it's a quick make and just use up your little bits of yarn. They're using the peaches and cream. So you could use up the bits of yarn left over from making the that um, rug that we're going to make. But yeah, so the peaches and cream, which is um, another brand of that cotton, kitchen cotton type stuff. So this, this one is Lily Sugar. So peaches and cream and sugar and cream. Basically the same thing, different brands. Yeah, and it doesn't take hardly any of it. So that's, that's a cute little make. And see, they're advertising Annie's in here. So I'm back to thinking that this might be their magazine. So Annie's has, isn't that pretty? This pattern is not in here. This is an advertisement for their online classes. And 
if you go to Annie's online craft store, class store, they've got classes in all kinds of things. And I've done a couple of them and I do enjoy them. This I love. How gorgeous is that? Man, oh man. Beach Waves Blanket. They're using Red Heart Super Saver, so this is not going to be real expensive. But you do have a lot of colors. So you're getting one skein of turquoise, Aruba Sea, white, light blue, light gray, delf blue, pool, country blue, light periwinkle, medium purple, orchid, and pale plum. So that's 12 skeins of yarn, but you're not going to use it all up. And it's the regular size skeins. Three, so it's a seven ounce, 365 yards in each one. This is beautiful. Be beautiful. I'm wondering if you couldn't. So that's what every one of those is a different color. There's, I don't think there's any reason why you couldn't like, you know, grab maybe half of those colors and make a couple of the colors over again if you didn't want to buy so many different ones. I don't know. This is so pretty. How big is it? Uh, 33 wide by 67 long. That's a nice size without fringe. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Because I'm wondering if this is mosaic tapestry crochet. This pattern uses tapestry crochet in the back loop to create the stitch patterning. Work right side facing, leaving a tail at the beginning and ending. That will become your fringe. I'm usually not a fringy person, but I like it on this. I think it adds to it on this. Great scrap project. Okay, okay, here we go. This is a great scrap project. You will need 75 to 115 yards of each color. So we don't need to buy 12 skeins of yarn that have 365 yards in each one. Or we can for sure get two rows out of, out of one skein of yarn. So there's no reason why we can't do this with fewer colors. I love this. And there's a chart. We start using the chart on row seven, page 63. Let's go look at 63 and find the chart. Here it comes. I don't want to lose the page I'm on. Come on, 63. I got 61. I got 64. It doesn't want to open. 63. Oh, I was expecting some big old chart. It's that. So we just do that over and over and over for an entire blankie. I think I can handle that. What about you? Think you can handle that? I really like this one. And I'm terrible at picking colors, so I might need some help. Okay, what else do we have here? Flip Flops Placemat. Very cute. Red Heart Super Saver, 15 by 20. And you build in a little flip flop on there. That is so cute. Pretty simple design. I think this would be pretty easy to make. They're considering it easy, a, a little higher end on the easy. Adjust with a placemat. And then they even give you the multiple if you want to make this bigger. That's nice. So I like that. Here's the little, here's the little flip-flop. So cute. So cute. And we've got a table runner. I like table runners. That's so pretty. I can see this on your um, picnic table or if you're at the beach. If you're in an RV. Uh, the tables in RVs are usually much smaller, and tablecloths usually are too big. So a table runner works out really, really well. This is called the Shoreline Table Runner. It is 18 by 48. Nice size for a table runner. They're using a three weight, which I think is good. Sometimes the four weights, I think, are too bulky for a table runner. Uh, Plymouth Yarn DK Superwash Merino. And it takes five hanks. There's our 50 gram hanks. So five hanks, 50 gram hanks to make this. Very pretty. Very pretty. 
Easy to remember and works up fast. My favorite. Fast, fast, fast. Oh! Lakeside blanket. Is that corner to corner? It looks like it, but I don't think it is. Oh, it is. This is corner to corner. Uh, they're using Premier Yarn Anti-Pilling for weight, so that's a good size for Blanky. Corner to corner, here's the little thing. So you're, you're starting like that, and you're ending up like this. So when you're working, you're working like this, and you go from here, and you're going up. So it gets wider, and then you get to a certain point, and then you go narrower. This is a good example of a corner to corner. This would be a good corner to corner when you want... So every one of these different colors is a different color change. And so you carry, you're gonna have bobbins of color, but this isn't gonna have a ton of them. And a quick trick I learned is, if you wanna get a general idea of how many bobbins you're gonna be carrying, turn this picture sideways and think of it as going like this. So, oh, there's some color changes there. So you're gonna have a bobbin here, but you're gonna be able to carry that one up with you. And this one, that bobbin's gonna carry with you. There'll be a change, there'll be a change, there'll be a few here. Probably this is gonna have the, the biggest majority of changes on that. So this would be a pretty easy uh, first timer corner to corner project. I like that. What's this? Indoor flying disc. I'm not sure what this is. A toy? Oh, it's supposed to be like a Frisbee that you can play with in the house. It's got little, wow, this is pretty intricate. It's got, it's got um, sailboats built into it. They're using the home cotton. Not happening. I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? That's something I'm not interested in. The next one is called, oh, so we're getting some games, some things together for playing at the lake house, at the beach house. This is called Nautical Spoons. And it says, crochet a nautical take on the fast-paced card game Spoons. I guess I don't know that game. Uh, these cute game pieces make a hard-to-put-down project with a lovely bag to store them in. Just add some cards and you have a travel size game to play at the lake or on your next family vacay. So you're making these little fishies which I don't know what they're for. And then these little doohickeys. And there's the bag. That's I like the little bag. I like the little bag a lot. Oh, so you're making the bag, which is six by six. Seagull, anchor, starfish, and then the little fishies. And they're using a DK weight. Kitchen cotton. Is that a kitchen cotton? Yeah. Designer tip. If you've never played spoons before... Game instructions are easy to locate online. In this version, players each get their own cute game piece instead of the traditional spoons. So you must do something with the spoons. Have you guys ever heard of this game? I've heard the game. I have no idea how to play it. I've never seen it played. We played Canasta and Tripoli. Oh, I like this bag. That is a cute little bag to hold your dice in or like you said, a couple of decks of cards. I like that. You could put a couple of decks of cards, some of those little bitty notepads that you keep score on, and a couple of those little pencils. Play hearts or whatever. I like that. That would be a cute little gift. I like that idea. And that's it. Wow, what a great, what a great magazine. Lots of things in here that I would absolutely make. I'm really leaning towards this. This is cute. I like this, except this isn't a style for my house. Of every, And this is nice, and this is nice. Okay, so my top three things in here. Top three that I, oh, and then that. Ooh, okay. Things I would probably actually make. This for sure. This probably for sure. Ooh, plus I love the mosaic and this. I love this. I love, and that, I think that was their cover doohickey, wasn't it? Yeah. 
that was the cover. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there you have the June 2022 Crochet World magazine. And I'll bet you if you went online and looked up Crochet World, you could pick that up. I have the subscription. I love the subscription. I wish it was more often instead of every other month. Um, six bucks. That is not bad. And if you get a subscription, you're paying way less than that. Thank you so very much for looking through the magazine with me today. Let me know which of these projects you would enjoy making or that you might actually make. This is nice too. I like having a pattern in my hand better than trying to follow a pattern online. I like a written pattern. I like to be able to make notes. I like to be able to um, watch, see exactly what I'm doing. I like to be able to just write all over the thing. So anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for popping in. Please like. I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It really helps us tremendously. And catch some of our lives. We got stuff going on all week long. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.